Okay, um, I've got more questions, but let's ask one more because of the recording. Ricky Gray, Ricky Gray, are you there? And your daddy, Ricky Gray, Richard Gray Sr. Richard Gray Sr. Because we talk to you guys many times and I'll talk to you every time. But your wife misses you, Ricky, and I didn't get it on recording and she was so excited to hear it because y'all's wedding anniversary is coming up. She wants mm, to know both... how y'all are doing. Okay, is that not the sweetest question? I don't think you can be seen, but go ahead. Uh, <laughs> is that better? <laughs> is this one of those confessional cameras he wants to right, know? Right, right. Jamie, Jamie's got the magic eye. Oh, look who's here, Dylan and Allie. My, my, my. Hi, guys. Hear this question, then. <laughs> Hi, guys. I like the shirt. Like the shirt. Oh, thank you. You want to say hi to Griff? Just say hi. Uh, what up? Hi. <laughs> Griffin says hi. Griffin said he's, he's having a fun day. He's been fucking with people. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Getting them to wake up. Uh, this is what he tries to do with you when he wakes you up. Sometimes he tries to sit on your chest. <laughs> I, I'm, God. He is officially my number one most uncomfortable person to translate. Why? What does he do? Uh, just says stuff that's embarrassing. He often he says not only will he sit on your chest to kind of wake you up, he'll sit, he'll damn it, he'll fart in your face. <laughs> that's just not. That's brotherly love, Jamie. <laughs> that's all he says. Okay. Okay. So, he said he can smell it sometimes. It's not his sheets that stink. It's not your sheets that stink, he said. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay, Ricky. And Richard Gray Sr. Yeah. He wants to know if it's a confessional camera. It is. I wish we could see you. I'd freak out if I just saw you right now. Jamie's so lucky. Wouldn't that be great? Could we do, like, spirit confessional cameras? Maybe I can get a... We could. That'd be, that'd be um, fun. A red light or something and, and set it up where we translate and focus the camera on where the spirit is. Exactly. You remember when Griffin wanted you to have the newsletter, you're in your newsletter, um, have advice from the your dead people. He, he told idea. you that years ago. I think it's a great idea, like, hint from Griffin or hint from, like, look both ways before you cross the street. <laughs> That's a good idea. Right. So this confessional cam. So what you got to say, to Ricky Gray and Richard Gray? Are y'all fishing and doing stuff like that, or what are y'all doing? <laughs> he wishes he was doing that all the time, but he said no. Uh, he spends a lot of time at the house. He he has to take care of his wife. Yes. It's not easy, and she didn't plan a life without you. And he says that the two of the two of them are doing fine. And he said, unfortunately, on my end, we are better than fine, but on her end, she's struggling. Right. He says, now I don't lean in and fart on her every morning like Griffin does to his brother, <laughs> <laughs> laughing. It's a joke. Viewers, it's a joke. Mm -hmm. He says, but I do tell her I love her every day she wakes up. I know you I, do. I want her to feel every day that she is being supported and that she's not alone. And he says it's hard because she is most likely to cry rather than smile. And he says it's like handling a bruised banana. You can't pick it up too quick, too firm. It ruins its shape. But soon, she's going to wake up smiling. And soon, she's going to choose to smile before crying. And life is going to be where she needs it to be. Happy anniversary. I love you now more than ever. 
And I can't thank you enough for the patience that you've given everybody else around you as they're trying to figure out how to help you. And he, he, he says in a funny tone, he goes, now woman, I would love for you to say yes, please, and thank you when people are offering help, food, assistance, everything, because it's going to come and it would feel better for you to accept it than not. I agree. He says, thank you. Your wife's a beautiful woman, Ricky. Will she ever be okay? Oh, she is going to be okay. Good. He says, now will she be healed 100% in her heart? No. Oh, I know that. I won't either. But she will be okay and she will find happiness and joy. Okay. And do you keep an eye on your kids and your boy? I think your boy seems better from when I read it. I try to, like, lurk on his uh, Insta media, social media. You can get a feel how someone's feeling. Seems like he's trying, you know. He's turning over a new leaf. Good. But he finds he's better at it if he turns it over every day. Right. So every day he's trying to find something new out of it. Right. He says, that's going to be good for him. I'm proud. Yeah. Thank you, Ricky. I'm so glad you came. And sorry, this didn't record last time. So. so that's okay. I hope it recorded something. Yeah, we're hoping too. <laughs> Speaking to the microphone. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I know. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.